Yeah. All right. This is Sister So True 28 again. And you know me, I like to hit my students up. So, right here on the right, I have Oria. Right. That's all right. I'm Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> like, not over. My right. No, I'm, it's Roar. My right. Adrian on the left here, and that's Oria. Oria is on her way to Georgia to do her master's. And he's finishing up December. December and he's graduating from LSU. So, two more college students, guys. See? See, our children are doing things. But what I wanted to do today, again, these, they're in their early 20s, y'all. And I wanted to ask them what they thought about natural hair. You can probably see Oria. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Oh, God. Her hair is looking really nice. Look at that. If you pull her hair, pull your hair down, Oria. Let them see how long it is. Wait, it's tangled. Hold up. Y'all see that? That's some hair right there. Believe me. And it's kinky, naughty, pretty. I love it. <laughs> All right. So what I wanted to do today, again, like I did the other two girls, jump in, anybody, anytime. I want to know what you think about natural hair in the community today. I personally feel like most of the women that have it now are uh, copiers. And the fact that it seems like it's a big thing going on right okay. now. And it kind of came out of nowhere. Okay. So uh, that's mostly how I feel about it right now. Okay. Now, yourself personally, would you date a woman with natural hair? I would, but it's not my preference. It's not your preference. Okay. And what do you think about natural today, Oria? I like it. Cause, I guess because I'm natural. Okay. But, um... I kind of, I kind of, kind of agree with what he's saying. Mm -hmm. It's kind of something that's just catching on now. It's mm -hmm. kind of like the new thing to do. Everybody's cutting off the hair. Mm -hmm. But I think natural hair is like healthier and processed hair, so I'm all for it. Okay, so it, for you, it's not a fad. It's yeah. just getting to know your hair personally. And I'm a data girl with natural hair. Okay, <laughs> so y'all heard him. Okay, so now when you grew up, and I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. Did you mostly see women with perm hair, like your mom, your aunties, yeah, or whatever? I mean, I still, I remember my mom okay. doing perms, getting perms in okay. the kitchen sink. And okay. having that smell and stuff. Yeah, kind of stinky, huh? And people burning their hair. Yeah. But I still, I mean, that's when I grew up, because, you know. Okay. I, I still remember all that, and that's kind of what I expect to see, see okay. still. That's still kind of what I like. I mean, it looks good on some people. It's not for everybody. But True. That's what um, every hairstyle. True. So if you knew the damage that, let's say, your girlfriend or your wife was causing to her scalp and her skin every time she applied that chemical process to her hair, would you still want her to do it? I didn't really know it was doing any damage. Yeah. Okay. And I would have to uh, rethink weigh that. How much damage? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, and and I and I venture to say you you can find a lot of data out there that's showing where people have did irreversible damage, black women mainly, to their hair because of those chemicals that we put in there to get that look of that straight hair that we're naturally not born with. But it's okay because I understand myself. My mom was natural because I'm older. We didn't really have the perms like that, but when they came, we did the damage. What about you, Ori? When you grew up, was it natural? Was your mom and your aunties permed, or? Um, my mom was permed. I was permed. Your daughter, Stacy, is the first person I've met with natural hair. Oh, okay. <laughs> when she came to when she came to high school, we were all like, "Yeah, perm. What's wrong?" Right. That was thanks to Sister So True, guys. I didn't let her ruin her hair. <laughs> Not that you guys did. I'm just saying. I just yeah. knew what it did. So what it did. I, and is small, so nobody really. Understands it Understand. too much. Like even when I went natural, my godmom and everybody was like, "Oh, you need a perm. What's wrong with your hair?" But yeah. now that they see it's gotten longer and it's like healthier, right. now they all like it and they're trying to go natural. So, so what do you think about women who went natural and did the big cut? Cause you have to be brave to do the big cut. I know you seen mine, Oria, so you know I know. <laughs> I can't have short hair, so when I did mine, I waited a year before I cut my hair, so my hair had okay. some length. So you didn't do the big chop before you cut did the chop. It was a it was a chop, but it wasn't. It was it was. It wasn't as big. I think I, my hair is probably maybe to maybe like to here so when I cut it. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't that dramatic. Well, I quite remember you did have some length to your hair pre cut. So my hair's too big so it's just to be okay. Small. But you didn't you didn't okay. So let me ask you did not do the big chop because of 
you will, will be bald, but because you didn't like the way you, it looked on you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what about you? What do you think about the women I who did it? I do not like short hair. <laughs> You're a tested, I, I take it. I like short hair. I do not like short hair. I like to run my hands through a woman's hair. Oh, okay. And um, so, you know, like so let, let me ask you. you when you say you like to rub your hands through a woman's hair, yes. when you put your hand in her hair and you feel tracks, how do you feel about that? Mm, don't think girls are tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. So basically, you're looking for a woman, doesn't matter what the race, but a woman with long hair naturally. I date black girls. Okay, or a black girl with long hair, like naturally, like Aurea here with that long hair, and Stace there with that long hair. You want long, straight hair? No, not. But it needs to be long. Okay, okay. It don't have to be like just way long, but you know. Okay, what's too short? It can be, it can be like right here. Okay. Like when I say, when I'm saying short, I mean like, like afro. Want, yeah, you know, I don't like, I don't like girl. afro. I don't like, you know, you going to the barbershop with me. <laughs> I, I understand. I understand. I understand. Because Miss Lowe wears an afro, but I don't go to the barbershop to get it. <laughs> but I understand what you're saying. And, it, and it's a matter of taste. It's a matter of taste. Yeah. But the biggest thing is I want you guys to always be educated on what you do to yourself. And mainly, you know what it does to your hair naturally because you have a choice. Whereas you, your hair is what it is, you know. But it, with you, you, you need to understand what we do for you to get that look that you was asking for. Which her love and natural hair doesn't mean she doesn't love you. If her hair is natural, she's taking care of herself. So, and, and I say that because one day you may have a daughter. And I don't think you want her to do the damage to her hair that we did when we were uneducated about our hair. Mm. Make sense? So if I had to sum this up, which is what I'm doing, just tell me real quickly what you think about, again, the natural in the community, and do you think that you're gonna stay natural or, not to discriminate against perm, but you can flip back and forth, but do you think you're gaining enough knowledge to get to know the hair that God gave you? Yeah, I don't think I'll ever go back to getting a perm. Okay. And it's not even, all about just the damage that it does because I still do stuff that damages my hair, like I okay. color my hair and stuff like that. But okay. it's Me just too. more versatile. Like I can wear it curly, I can straighten it if I want, and True. I can't do that with perm hair. So, so I you like the option of doing whatever. You're loving that flexibility. Yeah. And your hair looks so healthy, by the way. And it looks so nice on you. Oh, girl, you're just loving it. Okay, same question to you about natural hair. It's a little different, natural in the community day. You're not gonna discriminate against a girl because her hair is natural. No, I would. I would okay. never do that. Mom, okay. I just, I'm more the like in my mind. What I used to think natural was was froze. Like, okay. Any girl with a fro has natural hair or whatever. Okay. And I, didn't, I didn't. I don't think I really knew Stacy's hair was natural. I didn't really. Yours doesn't. It doesn't. Well, 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 what I thought was natural. I didn't know it's yours not. was natural. When I'm my, in my head, I thought natural was. Either a fade or afro. So now, like, oh, okay. I can it can still be long and natural. Yes. So, so yes. I could, isn't curly or straight? I mean, we do be. have long hair. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we really do. We yeah. really, really do. But we just choose not to damage it, you know. And it's not a black thing. It's not a white thing. But you know, just to say, white people were born with that hair they have. They haven't changed their hair to match mine. So why should I change my hair to match theirs? But there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. If you know what you're doing, you have to take care of that perm here. But, you know, again, to each his own. But I say to both of y'all, keep it real, keep it live. Say bye. 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 This is so true. I'm out. <laughs>